Today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're putting that door in that hole. Guys, the mega shop is coming along. Hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna teach you how to hang a pre-hung door. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Afraid of life, times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another gorgeous day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We are in the mega shop and the mega shop is huge, man. But I've just about filled it up. Look back there. <laughs> so if you haven't been following the channel, this is a 50 foot wide by 112 foot shop building that I put up. It's a red iron building from DWS Structures. There'll be a link in the video description in case you guys are interested in building one of these for yourself. Now the project we're faced with today is DWS put in all the windows and all the doors all throughout this whole building. However, this door didn't get here in time. So I've got to install this door. And this is a 36 inch door with side glasses right here. So I designed this front entrance to the farm office with a purpose. And this is where our farm office will be. There'll be a computer over here. There'll be freezers. There'll be all sorts of stuff for storing farm type stuff. So it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna show you guys how we install this front door on the new mega shop. Before we show you guys all the stuff we're gonna need to put that door in, let's show you this real quick. This is today's day sponsor, Bogue RV. There'll be a link to these guys in the video description. And if I can get those guys to give us a discount code, I will. So you can see, requires no ice, okay? So this little guy is just sitting here running. Uh, you can see we're running on the max setting and I'm set. I can turn it all the way down to Negative temps. Let's see what that does. Get us some good cold water. So this is a little bit smaller version right here. And then this is a little bit larger version right here. We can come around to this side and this one's set. It's 68 degrees right now. It's slowly cooling off and we can, again, it's on economy mode and we don't want that. We want it to be on high. There we go, max. So this thing will cool off down to the negative temperatures. Also, it's a freezer right here and a fridge right here. Super handy, got a little cutting board, perfect for going out to the beach for a picnic and perfect for cruising around the property here on the Stony Ridge. I just plug that into the cigarette lighter on my uh, UTV and it's good to go. Same with this one. So road trips, thanks a lot to Bogue RV. Appreciate the day sponsor. So I've got all my supplies all laid out right here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna use, okay? So first of all, I've got some awesome quad sealant right here. Any kind of sealant works, but this says tougher than the elements. It was the best sealant that I possibly could find right here. And we'll be using that uh, down here at the bottom of the door. So we've got two tubes of caulking and a El Cheapo caulking gun. We have self-drilling metal screws. They are designed for wood to metal, okay? These are pretty cool. I, I bought these at Lowe's yesterday. Here we are. Um, very cool little uh, hex head, not hex head, uh, Torx head. And they drop really easy too. <laughs> so that goes through the wood into the metal and we'll pre-drill those holes with this little cool drill bit set that I picked up. So I'm gonna use a number six drill bit and this is a drill bit that is a countersink. So this is designed to countersink my screws. Now I'm gonna putty those screw holes up with this putty right here, okay? Now we're gonna need some door shims or window shims. That's what these guys are. And we're gonna need some window and door expanding foam. And this expanding foam is different than your regular expanding foam, okay? So this is designed specifically for windows and doors. We'll spray it in there, not liberally. In other words, you don't wanna use the kind that swells up this big with a door. You wanna seal off the door, but you don't wanna push in the door. Once we get done with that tomorrow, we'll come back and we'll shave off all of the uh, excess that leaks out of the door jam. And it will leak out for sure. So, uh, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead, get my uh, drill ready. 
All right, new Milwaukee from Northern Tool. And we also have, we're representing all brands. We've got a DeWalt right here. Let's get busy, let's get this door in. This should only take you about a half hour. So this could double as a door installation video for any kind of door, really. As long as your jam, your, your hole, I guess where your door goes, matches the size of the door that you're putting in. So if you're replacing a front door or something like this, Basically, the reverse order of what we're doing is how you remove that front door, okay? So we would go in and we would cut the screws or nails that are holding the old front door in and install the new front door. Now, this one's a little bit different right here. It does have a hole for a doorknob and it has a hole for a... Uh, uh, lock, a lock mechanism. We've got a few things that we have to take off of this door before we pre-fit it. So I'm gonna take these handles off the side down here and uh, then we'll pre-fit it into the hole. Then we'll pull it back out, set it over to the side. We're gonna run our bead of caulk, which is really gonna be something that's crucial to this door installation. And I happen to know I've gotta lay the whole door down and knock off a piece of wood that's on the bottom of this door that's set there for framing purposes and for moving it around so that you don't damage the door as you move it around your shop or load it up and take it to your house. The cost of this door, and again, this has the side lights on it, uh, the cost of this door wasn't that much more than a regular pre-hung door. In other words, the side lights probably cost me about $400 more. The total cost of this door is around $1,300 from Lowe's. Cool, so let's get busy. We'll start cranking all this stuff out. Now, don't laugh at me, I am a saver. I will save this. There are four screws that hold this handle on. It's just a little handle. I hang on to these because I might use them for a future chicken coop project or something like that. We've got another one over on the other side. tapping in any fasteners that might be underneath here so that they don't get in the way when we get ready to put our door in. So we're at our caulking point right here and all I'm gonna do is take my little knife here and I'm gonna cut the tip off of my caulking gun just like so or my tube of caulk. Do that to the inside and it has that little plastic seal. Good thing our uh, <laughs> awesome El Cheapo caulking gun actually has the little finger that can poke a hole in that. So we'll go ahead and get this all prepped and ready to rock and roll before we start laying beads of caulk. And we're gonna lay a pretty thick bead of caulk on this. I bought two tubes just in case. I didn't wanna run back and have to get another tube. So we'll run it out to the end right there. Okay, very cool. We'll turn this, we'll pull that back, that plunger back so it doesn't leak out. And we're gonna lay two beads of caulk, okay? So the two beads of caulk we're gonna lay are gonna go right down the side here where the door is gonna go, and we'll have that go up about six inches up the sidewall, and then we'll run a zigzag pattern right here in the middle. So we wanna sweep this off real good, make sure it's nice and clean. And this caulking, you wanna get some caulking that's for exterior use, and it needs to be safe for concrete if you're doing it on concrete. So that's what this is for. It will stick to cedar, vinyl, fiber, PVC wood, coated aluminum, fiberglass, masonry, brick, concrete, everything. <laughs> that's why I got the good stuff. Really would help to have two people doing this, but it's all good. So we know that our door jam, our hole, is going to be much wider than our actual door frame. So it's about eight inches, and we want the door to be flush right here, okay? So at about eight inches, we wanna measure this and see how wide we are, and we're at about six inches, okay? So what we wanna do is come about two inches inside of this, and here is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put my measuring tape right here, and bring it in to about two and a half inches. Now I know where that pin is, and that's where I'm gonna run my bead of caulk. We'll probably go ahead and mark this with a pencil. So I've got my straight edge right here, and we're set at five and a half inches from the edge of our uh, concrete right here. That's where we're gonna run our bead of caulk, and I'll show you exactly what we do there. So we're gonna be running a bead of caulk through here, and through here, and then a zigzag pattern right here, but we also need to run that bead of caulk up here, to prevent water from entering. There'll be a front porch on the front of this building, so we don't really have to worry about that too much, but we're gonna go ahead and run a nice fat bead of caulk about five to six inches up. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? I'm gonna join that bead with another nice big fat bead all the way across. Same thing over here, a nice big fat bead up the wall about five inches. Work our way back across, right on that line we just put. 
This is just to keep water from intruding into your building, okay? And also to prevent water from damaging the wood frame on this door. This will also help secure your door to the surface you're putting it on. Even if you're doing this on wood, you still need to run these beads of caulk. We want the outside of our door frame to match up with this trim piece right here. This is called J trim, okay? So we're gonna be right on the outside right there. Okay, here's where you probably should have two people, but oh, I'm gonna manhandle it right on up here. There we go. Good deal. We're gonna slide it into position, just like so. Now, we've got to be careful. We're doing this by ourselves, okay? So we've gotta be fairly careful that we don't smear our caulk all over everything. So I've gotta walk the door all the way to the edge and then lay it forward right on those beads of caulk, okay? This could be interesting, but it's fun. So let's give it a shot. Alrighty. Walk her on over. You gotta be careful not to damage your door as you're doing this. We're gonna get it centered in the hole. Very simple. This goes to show you, one guy can do this. Okay, you got a little piece of trim being silly right here. There we go. Walk it on out just a little more. There we go. I'm gonna get this door dirty. It's okay, this door's gonna get painted. So we're gonna tap it on in there. Boy, this is a very tight fit right here. Oh, I'm gonna have to uh, take my hammer and tap in some of these uh, little nails and screws sticking out. It's a pretty tight fit. Boy, this is a really tight fit. I got my measurements right on the money. Almost a little too much on the money to get my drift. I gave them the size of the door and they made the hole exactly the size of the door. They should have made it about 3 eighths of an inch bigger. There we go. Now we're getting it. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> There's no shins and gonna be needed for this job. This thing is tight. There we go. I'm gonna go outside and take a quick look, make sure we're right on our caulk line. There we go. Almost got it. Getting close. <laughs> First time I walked through my brand new door. Go make sure my reveal looks good on this side. Pretty good. Still need a little tap on one side here. So we've got the door in. Let me get you guys a little detail here on uh, what we've got going. So all this will have to be painted for sure, and it's wood on the outside. This area here will be caulked up, but this is what we wanted. We want it to be flush right here with that J trim, okay? Now, we're also, we have a little bit of space right in here, and this is where our foam is gonna go, right up in there. We won't really need to worry about foam on the outside edges here. And this will be caulked to the, uh, trim right here so we get a good vapor barrier a good seal right there goes all the way down and you can see again this will be caulked also now we've got a little bit of an overhang you can see a little bit of that uh, caulking is on the bottom i'll take a paper towel and wipe all that off now we've got to zip our screws in and we're going to go in from this side right here we'll drill out and we'll put three one two three on that side one two three on that side. We'll do one up here, one, two, and another one up there. So we'll go ahead and pre-drill those holes and we'll also take our shims and we'll place them up here and I'll show you exactly how we do that. Now we're also checking a couple other things here, guys. We wanna make sure that our reveal around the outside edge here is perfect and straight. And it absolutely is. We've got a great seal, the reveal is awesome. So. Now I've just got to go spend another hundred bucks <laughs> on a new lock set. So typically you would put shims in right here, but we're so tight, we don't have to worry about that. We're actually gonna take our drill bit. And again, this is a drill bit uh, with a countersink on it. So we're gonna take our drill bit and we're gonna go ahead. And again, we're gonna do three. So we'll do one right up here. There we go. 
That's gonna be a thing of beauty. Let's do one more down here and show you guys exactly what the countersink does. That allows me to sink in my uh, screw, my screw head, okay? So then I can cover that screw head up with a little bit of putty and paint it, either putty or caulk. So that fills in for my screw heads. Cool, we'll go ahead and knock this out. We've got several screws to put in place. Before we start sinking screws in here, we wanna go ahead and check level on this critter right here. Make sure we are absolutely, without a doubt, 100% level. And we are there. We are there. We are there. And, nice. Daddy likey. <laughs> All right, let's finish drilling. Guys, I couldn't do this any faster, man. The sun is coming down. You see me, I am soaking wet. It is super hot. Summer months dictate work like this has to be done in the evening and in the early morning. So uh, I went a little overboard, I'll say it. I went a little overboard and I put, I think five uh, countersink holes in this door on the side and five up on the roof. So we'll go ahead and zip these in. Nice, and it worked perfect, guys. Let's get you a close up. Again, these are screws that are designed from wood to metal, okay? So we'll go ahead. We pre-drilled our holes. Countersink, and we'll fill that guy up with a little bit of putty. All right, I'm gonna knock them all out. Nope. We didn't put the shims in the top. We gotta put those shims in and zip our screws through the shims. Let me show you how to do that. So we've got a gap up here and we've got to slip some shims in. Basically the shims are gonna go in the same place that the uh, screws are gonna go through. Okay, so I'll slide that shim in place right there. Slip another one in on top of it. Just like so. And that way when I screw the screws up, it doesn't crush or misshapen the door as I go up. So it looks like two shims per screw is what's gonna need right through here. There we go. Now we've got our shims in place, we need to make sure our door closes just right, okay? Yep, and our reveal is good, awesome. All right, with shims in place, <laughs> now we'll do it again. There we go, nice. All right guys, we have totally ran out of daylight on this project, but the last thing we've got to do is remove these shims and basically we just take a uh, razor knife just like this, uh, and we'll cut just like so. Hard to do with one hand. We'll score that, then we'll break it just like that. Now there'll be a piece of trim that goes right across through here. And we'll dress this up just a little bit more when I can use both hands. I can't do it with one hand. So we'll remove our shims and that's our door. Awesome, what do you think? Pretty nice door, huh? I think that's gonna be an awesome addition to the Mega Shop, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. That's how you install a door. Uh, we learned a few lessons today. Uh, we learned a little bit about um, putting shims in. We also learned a little bit about screw length. My screws are not quite long enough, so I'm gonna go back and get screws that are about a half inch longer. I think these are three inch and I need three and a half inch. So be sure you plan for a trip back to the hardware store because you'll always need to do that. Guys, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is it, the farm office door. Hopefully some of you guys will be coming through this sometime when we have some classes here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Thank you, we'll see you next time. Take care. Woo! Come on down.